Hello, this is Rachel from Pure Photoshop Actions, and I'm going to quickly explain how to install Elements Actions on your Mac. So quickly, what you're going to do is uh, you'll find wherever it is that you downloaded your Actions to. Um, I've got them in my documents. So I have my Actions. Uh, I've made a little folder called Actions. I open that up, PPA everything. It comes as a zipped file. It's very easy on a Mac to unzip this file. All you have to do is Double click that and Mac unzips it for you. So it's all done. Here's all the folders. You definitely do not want to install the folders themselves. You don't want to just click all of these and drop them into the Elements folder. Otherwise, that will really confuse Elements and it will not work. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Set 2 because I've already installed Set 1 as a test. Um, so we're going to come to Set 2. I've opened up Set 2. We're going to, documentation is wonderful. You should always read it. It has wonderful um, instructions and explanations. Um, but right now we're concerning ourselves with the actions. So here we have, here's all the actions. Each action actually is a set of three files that do different things. The first one, this ATN, that's the actual action that runs on your photo. XML is how your photo is, how the actions are organized into sets in your, uh, in your elements. And finally, PNGs are how they are uh, identified. Um, so they're the little thumbnails. Um, okay, so we've got this open. Now let's follow the path to install them in Elements. We're going to open a new Finder window really quick. So we have a new Finder window. I like to look at it in this, uh, in this type of view with the three lists, the columns. It's much easier to me. You do whatever makes sense to you, but this just makes sense to me, and I think it kind of shows it more linearly. I'm going to make this a little bigger so that everybody can see what we've got going on here. Okay, there we go. We don't want to take up the whole, whole thing, but um, okay, so I've gone into my iMac. Now I'm going into Macintosh HD. We're going into Library. We're going to go into Application Support. We're going to Adobe. Now we're going to Photoshop Elements. I'm going into Elements 10, pick whichever number it is that you're running. It could be 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. Those are all types that we have tested. Elements 10, I'm going to go to Photo Creations. And finally, Photo Effects. This is where I'm going to drop my actions. So we're going to click, and then we're going to scroll down, hold our Shift key, and that will select them all. And then if we take this, um, we're going to quickly add them into here. They've all been tossed now into this action, uh, this photo effects folder. This is where you need them to be. We're not done yet though. We need to tell uh, elements to quickly recognize what's going on. So we're going to come back over here. We've skipped over, so here's where they are. We're skipping over, here's where photo effects was, photo creations. Now we're looking at locale. So it's uh, hard drive, library, application support, Adobe, Elements, 10 or whatever number you're running. And then now we're going to go to Locale, ENUS, and we're going to rename this database. What I do when I rename my databases is I like to put, so this will be September 20th, and then since I've already done one for September 20th, I'm going to call it September 20th B, just so I know that. You can even delete these, but basically this is going to trigger Elements to look for um, new actions. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open another Finder window, just so that I'm not going to mess around with this. I want you guys to be able to look at that while I'm doing this. So open a new Finder window. I'm going to come over here. Uh, we're going to walk straight through it again. Macintosh HD. Uh, this time we're going to Applications. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to open up my Elements 10. There's Elements 10. We're opening it up. Okay, so now Elements 10 is going to start loading. Um, Let's see, I'm about to run out of time on my thing. I don't know, this, I can't find a good Mac screen recorder. But what it's doing now, do you see Photoshop Elements? Now it is rebuilding the database. I do not want to touch it while it's rebuilding the database, but it's rebuilding my effects database. It may take a few minutes. That is okay. On some slower computers, mine's a very fast computer, so this is only taking a few moments. Um, on slower computers, it can take up to 30 minutes. I have heard of people taking an hour even. I try to just go set by set. If you order the everything, it can possibly end up kind of choking up your elements. Um, I only have 10 seconds before it stops. So um, anyway, this is what we're going to, this is what happens with uh, the rebuild. 